Yo, 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 what's going on, y'all? A1 Andre coming back today with another video. Now, today in this video, we're talking about a little bit of news that came out before because you usually have to cover news to come out the current day, but this time around, like I said, we cover news that came out on Twitter. We turn it to Twitter for this, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about some information and news that we got from Twitter that wasn't really mainstream news to some people, like, you know, new gameplay trailers, et cetera, et cetera. We're talking about the players that got a chance to test play 2K24 early, as well as Mike Wang and other tweets from other devs that play 2k to learn you know a little bit more about 2k24 and before we get into this i'm gonna say right now if you're new hit that sub button also leave a like on the video of course whether you knew or not that helped me out a lot but without further ado let's go to twitter and you know look at some of this information we got so we starting off on twitter with the boy trey riggs i'll call him young john stockton because he looks kind of like a young john stockton <laughs> uh anyway he had this to say about 2K24. He said that 2K24 is the best 2K in a while, probably ever. He said it was even better than 2K17 and 16. So I wonder what he got to say because this is a hot take. I'm not going to lie. It's the best 2K I've ever played. On God, hands down, it's not even up for a debate. It's better than 17. It's better than 16. It's better than 20. It's better than 23. It is the best 2K of all time. So if y'all haven't already pre-ordered that shit. If y'all have not already pre-ordered that shit, on God, everything about 2K24 is amazing. The game is perfect. Everything about it is perfect. The builder is- So this man stated, and he's gonna get a lot of flack because he's wrong for this, so he's probably gonna, you know, not look too good if it's not true. This man said that 2K24 for the PS5 Series X is better than 2k16 i can understand 17 because in my honest opinion 2k17 was probably one of the most overrated 2ks in a long time and i have previous videos explaining why i believe that so if you want to see why i'll probably put the video on the end card right here or in a card on the screen or whatever but anyway this man is saying that even 16 is not as good as 2k24 from what he played people in the community are having a problem with what he said because obviously the game hasn't come out yet so that's a bold take for him to make I think PowerDF even said something about it as well. People in the community are saying things like, you can't really rank a 2K against the others until it is at least halfway into the year. And it's true, because I understand that as well. You can't really, see the way I see it, I don't really disagree with this Michael guy or whatever, because I think, you know, the game comes out in like about, what, September. So you have to wait until at least December or January to be able to make a claim like that, in my opinion. On top of that, I'm pretty sure he hasn't played part because you can't really play part by testing it i don't think i could be wrong he could have gotten to a beta part i don't know i doubt it though but i mean it's still a bold claim so i'm not saying this guy's wrong but again the game is not even you not even seen every game of the game so i don't understand why he would say this what he should have said in my opinion is if he played the game early he should have said this game feels better than 2k 23 when it comes to just core gameplay but outside of that i don't know or the game feels as good as the old 2Ks in terms of core gameplay, but not like in general. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I would have said if I was him. That's just me, though. But to say that the game as a whole is better when we haven't played every game mode, like I said, I don't understand that, but that's neither here nor there, I guess. I digress. Even Power Agree, he said, yeah, it's hard to rank when we haven't even seen modes like part. See, I just said this. Part my team. So, yeah, hot take by John Stockton Jr., but I mean, hey. I guess, you know, I'm not going to say that I'm not going to take his word for it a little bit. I mean, again, I have reasons not to, but I mean, if he's saying this, then this makes me, that's making me more eager to play the game. He also said pre-order the game, so I don't know if he's working for 2K. <laughs> Let me stop playing around. I don't know. But what he said definitely does get me more excited for the game and more excited to see what the game's going to look like and when I get my hands on it myself. I want to see now. Like, is it going to actually be as good as 2K? Then again, I'm not going to lie. For the most part, you can tell what the game's going to be like you know halfway through the cycle after you played every game mode but at the same time when i got 2k16 i could already tell from the first five minutes of playing even in the core game with like the bulls i think i had the game was head and shoulders over 2k15 and 14 in terms of gameplay so maybe the game is just that good it's like it's literally it might be like 16 who knows it might be better than 16 because like i said i had that same feeling in the first five minutes i played 2k16 and that was the core game and played out online so he could be on the sun so shout out john stockton for that let's make a deal rubble still skin mm -hmm. We now on Zach Timmerman's Twitter. He asked a question with a poll who's already closed. He asked, let's see if there's a difference. What should matter more for badge progression in the city slash park games? And of course, teammate grade one. I'm not gonna lie to all these choices. I would have said teammate grade as well. Because let's be real, at least most people I play against in the park or play with in the park 
they have terrible teammate grades. You can see it in the whole stats down below when you know how much points you scored and all that stuff. So I'm not going to lie. Teammate grade is the best way to go because most people in 2K in the community have terrible basketball IQs when you play in the park with randoms. I'm not going to hold you. Most people are bad at the game. Like most people from my experience, most people can score, but they can't do anything else. They have no basketball IQ. They just not an isolating score from watching, you know, YouTube tutorials. So I'm not mad at this because the average park player in the game has a terrible IQ and they have a terrible teammate grade. So I think teammate grades is the best way to go to, to, you know, earn your badges and all this stuff. I ain't gonna lie to you. He also says the high teammate grades are harder in part, and this is accounted for in badge progression system. A, B minus is actually a solid average grade in these games. And A plus currently gives you a 20% boost, a win percent of 15%, a loss of 10%. So yeah, I like that a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if I read this already in the course I report, but he says that in terms of archetype improvements, more emphasis was placed on preventing meta builds. Attribute caps for various size combinations saw a positive overall, and max height weights were updated per position. Also, a focus was put on the archetype naming system to ensure that, that the names are as descriptive of the player as possible. So he's saying that he doesn't want a lot of like meta play shots and power forwards or 6-9 builds or whatever. He wants to get rid of all the 6-9 builds in the game, which I agree. 6-9 builds in 23 kind of almost was part of the reason why 2K23 was ruined in terms of the game. So I like what he's saying and I like what I'm hearing. So that sounds good. Um, let's move on. Now, if you read the course I report, you know about loadouts that are already in the game for player templates. But I don't know if I've already read this or not. He says, as seasons go, we plan to release more templates. Never hesitate to hit us up on and let us know which ones you want to see if you plan to make a new build. So he's saying they're gonna add new my player templates or new NBA player templates. So let's just say season one that Wimby's not in the game, which I couldn't see why he wouldn't be. I just did a play on words. Anyway, I couldn't see why Wimby wouldn't be in the game for season one as a template. But if he's not in season one, he can make Wimby for season two and just have a template. Personally, I see pros and cons to the template system because the pros is that if you make a template from an actual NBA player, I believe they said you already have their badges or something like that. So you don't have to earn them as much or something like that. But it's still like a con to it because it gives you less flexibility with what you want to make so there's pros and cons to it personally i probably go the old-fashioned route and just make my own build but you know i'm not mad at this you know what i'm saying am my bad about badges i meant to say six because mike wayne says it here also because we're moving on to mike wayne now he says not only do you automatically get that player six but they're equipped off the rip even if you don't meet the normal requirements as a 60 overall nice perk of using the nba team okay so i don't know if again i said that in the course i report already but if i didn't here it is right here of course we know the gym rat is gone just a little wrap up it's right here again gym rat now an hour ago mike wayne said curious how strong you guys think shooting badges should be compared to ratings for example if you have a 73 point shot how high should having a healthy shooting badge load out boost you oh okay <laughs> in 99's option that's crazy I want to skill gap, so I'm torn between 75 is a little too low, I think. I think 80. It should rise you to think 80. I think it's good. That's what I'm going to go with. See? I knew it. I know what the people want. I know what's smart. Most people chose 80 for a good reason. Like, 85 is too much. 99 is ridiculous. That's probably a troll. But 80 is the way to go. I knew it. I know what the people want. See, this is why I'm a content creator. I'm playing. But nah, 80 is a good spot. Because think about it. If you having 70 and you get good badges, like plus 10 is all you really need. Otherwise, it eliminates skill gap. 75 is not enough. If you get so many badges and put all those work, because let's be real, equipping badges takes a lot of brain power to like, it's like, a, it's like solving a puzzle in a sense. You got to think, okay, let me upgrade these attributes and put these badges here so I can make the best badges that I can get and get the best, you know, added on badges I can get to help my shooting. So if that's the case, it takes a lot of brain power. You don't want to do all that brain power for only plus five. So plus 10 is the way to go. It's the sweet spot. Of course, because everybody else shows the same thing. Down here, Mike Wayne confirms something as well. He says, Pro Play has given us about 400 signature jump shots and 500 advanced shots, spins, step backs, pull ups, posts, more shot options than we've ever had in 2K game. Because somebody asked Mike Wayne how many new jumpers are in the game for Pro Play. So we're having a lot of new signature jump shots. And he said 400 new six, which is more players receiving in the NBA, I believe. I think it's like 350 players in the league, I think I want to say. I'm not sure off the top of my head. I'm just saying 350. Could be 400, though. I don't know. That means for every player in the league, just about, we should have a new signature jump shot, which means our own signature jump shot. Sounding good. And 500 advanced shot spins and all that stuff. Yo, this is sounding nice. I ain't gonna lie. 
<laughs> 400 this man king said 400 jump shots just for y'all to use the same three youtuber jumpers <laughs> nah i don't think it's gonna be like that this year i think it's gonna be a lot more variety going on with the jump shots so sounds good all right so we're going back to the boy zach timmerman's twitter to read the things he said didn't make the report so he says a few key notes that didn't make the report badge grind is pretty quick for badges you use frequently teammate grade and win slash losses have a big impact on badge progression rebirth sets your badges at silver immediately okay rebirth resets your badges at silver so you don't have to go to bronze that's nice to know because i know you know you're not getting nothing less than a bronze you can't go below a bronze because if you got badge progression that you know gets down from not using it you're not gonna go anything lower than a bronze personally i don't got to worry about that because i use my badges a lot and i know the style i play so i never have to worry about losing badge progression or anything like that you know i know my play style but still with rebirth you start out at silver so that's good to know instead of starting off at bronze all right so right here we're still on zach timmerman's twitter i don't know if y'all read this or not already but i'm gonna read it again if y'all didn't um mike wayne says or he retweeted mike wayne saying a note about the pro hall of fame season passes for 2k24 is that there are some really cool processes in the passes but nothing that will provide your my player a competitive advantage on the court no gameplay animations badges etc all right so that means that getting a season pass is not gonna affect your gameplay so it's not gonna be paid to win for what he's saying sounds good Season passes not being paid to win is a semi-W, but it's still an ill because there's still season passes in the game. Let's be real. <laughs> Let's be real now. Come on now. All right. Another piece of information that Zach Timmerman said is that there's no visual for it yet, but the attributes menu has two nice additions. A badge glossary. You can scroll through to see attribute requirements. Okay. As you fill up attributes, a notification appears to let you know which badges you now qualify for. All right. That's nice. No more menu jumping necessary good enough all right cool 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 so in the builder you don't have to go to the next page you just stay right there that's nice to know all right some more information is badges that were removed just to compare we already know about most of the stuff but just to look over it again we got the new badges of course post fade phenom open looks spot finder and then we got the removed badges which were amped clutch shooter limitless takeoff mismatch expert volume shooter of course bully limitless takeoff was gone removed everything on screen you can read it if you want to you know what i'm saying and this is from the man I don't want to mispronounce his name. It's pronounced or spelled P A U L A G I O. Don't want to mispronounce that. So there, you know, there it is. Also, once again, this playing on a high difficulty, like Hall of Fame in my career, give more progression towards badges and overall. Yes, higher multipliers for both, but it's also harder to win and sometimes harder to get good teammates' grades. So take that into consideration. All right, it's good to know. All right, y'all. So that's all the information and tweets I wanted to go over today. So more new information might come out later on. But um, I just wanted to go over that with y'all right now to, you know, see what y'all thought about, you know, stuff that's going on with 2K, like under the scenes or behind the hood, I should say, because again, none of this stuff was just in trailers or what's our report. So I wanted to go under the hood a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Who else doing that? You know what I'm saying? Not many others are doing that for y'all. So for that, if you want to subscribe, leave a like down below, all that good stuff. Um, more information to come at the time of this recording is Monday. So probably tomorrow on Tuesday, we might get the My Career stuff information about 2K24. So we just got to wait and see. But um, I appreciate y'all for watching as usual. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Catch me tomorrow, most likely. And until the next time, it's been your boy, Edwin Andre. In and I'm out. Peace.